Welcome to Open Office video. I am Martin and today I will show you how to use uh, the sorting and filter functions in Calc, which is very useful if you want to find the data you need in large numbers, uh, large data sheets, or if you want, of course, to sort your data. Now, let's say um, we have here our sales um, document. Uh, let's say we want to sort all this data by uh, the uh, by sales. So we want in ascending order. First, we want the month with the lowest sales, and then up and up and up. Now you see this. This isn't currently the case because currently it's uh, sorted by month. So January first, then February, etc. So we want to change this. What we do is we go to data. We first we select, and this is incredibly important. First, we select all data. And then we go to data, and we go to sort. Now a menu comes up which where you can select how you want to sort it. Now, um, you see you can sort it by column. So let's say we want to sort by sales, which is column B. And here we have sales. And we can choose whether we want it ascending or descending. Well, we want ascending. And if uh, uh, it is the same, then we select by, well, let's say column A, which is month. I should have actually put a heading in there. But since I didn't, now it's named column A. So we click on OK. And now you see what happens. It has sorted our data. June is first with our quarter under um, the desk. And uh, then it's then etc etc etc, and you see all the other data has moved as well. You've seen you see, can see I've something funny has happened with the formatting. This was actually you see January was on top. Oh yeah, and we didn't have December in this calculation, so November was down. So that's why the lines of the formatting are a bit funny. But that's of course easily adjusted. Let's do that right now. Let's do a bit of housekeeping and select here all the borders so, fixed. Um, okay, so that's how sorting basically works. Very useful. Let's just go back a bit. Fix the formatting. Now let me show you what happens if you say, okay, I just want to, uh, you, what some people, as a mistake some people make, it's like a sales, I want to sort sales, which is fine, you say go to sort, and here, this is an important uh, box. It says the cells next to the current selection also contain data, which is especially relevant because here are the month names and here are the other data. So uh, Calc actually recognizes that you haven't selected everything. If we go to extend selection, you see it automatically selects all your data. This, of course, goes all right in this spreadsheet since there's not, not much else in there. But be wary of what Calc sorts, because if you haven't built up your data sheet in a way Calc expects, it might go wrong. And you end up with wrongly sorted data, which is a bit of a disaster, as I'll show you. If I just select this one, sort, and I ignore this warning and say I want to keep the selection as it is, and I'm going to sort sales ascending, then it's nicely sorts this column, but the figure that was previously from June is now from January. And if you keep on working with this data sheet, your data is going to end up a, me a mess and your result will be meaningless. So we quickly undo this. See, so select everything if you, uh, if you want to sort data. I recommend always doing, doing this yourself and not waiting for the, um, the data box. All right, this was sorting. In part two, we'll show you how to use filters to, uh, to sort through data. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any suggestions, questions, or remarks, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you want, you can subscribe to OpenOffice Video by using our RSS field Twitter or by subscribing to our YouTube channel if you watch on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.